A few months ago, I acquired some oak hat and coat stands from a local office clearance. And back then I made a butcher's block or chopping board out of the small sections that made up the feet of those hat and coat stands. I've got loads more of these pieces left over and they've kind of been getting in the way around the workshop so I've been thinking about what else I can use them for. A lot of people would probably throw this sort of thing away. They're quite short, they're 23 centimetres long. One of the ideas I've come up with is to make a parquet tabletop. I would need to chop off this section here and then I can probably get two pieces out of each piece. I started by ripping off the sloped face from each piece on the bandsaw to give me lots of pieces that were roughly 35 millimeters square. I'm already looking at this pile of offcuts and I'm thinking They'd make pretty good door stops. I don't know when to stop. Then I ripped each piece in half on the bandsaw. I trimmed one end of each piece on the crosscut sled on my table saw. Then I set up a stop block on the sled and cut the other side of each piece so that they would all be a consistent length. Then I ripped a few millimetres off one side of each piece on the table saw, moved the fence in by a few millimetres and then cut the other side of each piece. So now all of these pieces are a consistent width and a consistent length and now I just need to get a consistent thickness. I'd use the thicknesser to do this. It's not really a great idea to use a thickness planer on a piece of wood that's this short because you run the risk of the blade catching it and throwing it out which could cause injury or damage to whatever's behind you. I was careful to keep a firm grip on each piece, guiding them in as straight as possible to prevent the pieces from twisting, which could result in kickback. I also stood to one side of the planer so that if kickback did occur, I wouldn't get hit. I made a few passes and planed the pieces until each face had no imperfections, and at the end they were all planed to a consistent thickness of 14mm. Next I laid out the pieces on a scrap piece of chipboard until I had a design that I was happy with. Then I measured what size I wanted the tabletop to be and cut the piece of chipboard to that size on the table saw. Then I marked up a series of 45 degree lines on the chipboard with a speed square this would help me to position the pieces at the right angle so that the 45 degree design would be square to the board. I used wood glue to attach the pieces and kept applying pressure to keep the pieces as tight together as possible. and I used heavy items to weigh them down onto the board. <laughs> 
When the board was completely covered, I put down some cling film over the glue squeeze out and laid a scrap piece of melamine on top before again applying pressure by placing random heavy items on top. I let the glue dry for around four hours. I mixed up some glue and sawdust to fill in any small gaps and I let that dry for a while. I used a flush trim bit in my router with the bearing pushed up against the chipboard piece to give me one straight edge. I could then use that straight edge referenced against the fence of my table saw to trim off the other side. And I cut the other two edges on the crosscut sled. I used an old hand plane to clean off the worst of the glue. I was fully prepared to have to sharpen the blade again after this. Next I measured up the tabletop so that I could make a trim for the edges. I used some of the long vertical pieces from the hat and coat stands to make the trim. I cleaned up each face on the table saw. Then I cut 45 degree angles for the corners. I applied glue and attached them with brad nails. I did this with the tabletop face down on a flat surface so that the trim would be attached flush with the tabletop. I cleaned off excess glue with a damp rag. I added some clamps after nailing, just to get the glue joints nice and tight. For some reason the trim still wasn't perfectly flush with the tabletop, so I used a hand plane to get it nice and flush. I used the belt sander with a 120 grit paper to clean up the surface and get rid of any of that excess glue. Then I sanded with my orbital sander to 120 grit. I did some light sanding on the edges too, just to ease over the sharp edges. Then I applied some mineral spirits to clean off any dust and also to make sure that I had sanded out any imperfections, as this method usually highlights them. Next I applied a generous coat of this super Danish oil. I wanted to add a bit more definition to the grain and I also wanted to match the colour to some of my other furniture a bit better. To do this I used some rustic pine brie wax. 
At this point I stamped on my maker's mark to the bottom of the tabletop and then I buffed the wax finish. 